What's up, family? This is Juan J. Johnson coming at you. Uh, just uh, for a little real talk. Uh, I wouldn't even say exclusive. I just want to say thank uh, everybody who took time to uh, tune in. I also want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I did not get a chance to talk to nobody. Uh, I have not broadcast in quite a minute. But I just want to say thank you for all the support over the years for just chiming in. Um, again, didn't really have much to say. I know folks are watching that crazy game. As you know, I'm still boycotting all these games. Uh, again, there's nothing more important to me than the liberation and freedom and justice for black people, period. So uh, again, I'm still boycotting. Uh, but again, I just want to thank everybody. All the Capricorns, December, January, the birthdays. I want to wish everybody a happy uh, quote unquote new year, but if the earth is maybe 4 billion years old, I don't know how we get 2017 from 4 billion years. I don't know how you do that. But I guess in Greek or Roman time, it's 2018, a new year. But again, just thank everybody for just tuning in. Um, again, I don't really have much to say. I just wanted to let you know I'm still in the land of the living, I'm still alive, uh, still researching still calling out the system of white male domination. And I just may come back later on today and do something through the scriptures. Um, but again, thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, from the bottom of my heart to the depth of my soul, for taking time out your busy day just to read what I post, to share what I post, um, and just to uh, just, just interact. Again, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, again, I don't really have much to say. I just want to come through here and say hi and, and, and wish you guys a happy New Year's and some of your guys' birthdays. And, and, and that's all I really had to say. Uh, again, I, 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 uh, 2018 is going to be a great, uh, it's going to be a great year. Um, I'm in great anticipation. There's some things going on with Real Talk and my other organization called Making Dreams Come True that I cannot share. But there's some very good things going on, not just for me, but for the family, for our for our community. So uh, hopefully, before next 90 days, I'll be able to let everybody know what's really, what's what's going on. Because you know, every you just can't put all your stuff out there. Some things you got to keep to yourself until the right time, the right date. Uh, thank you uh, for all you do. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, JJ. Uh, I, again, brothers and sisters, I go to sleep thinking about black people and I wake up thinking about black people because at the end of the day for me I already know Trump is a racist I know America is racist and I know that we are pacifists we don't believe in you know fighting we, you know we we want things to be given to us but everything Trump is doing is trying to get us to get back on our get back on our P's and Q's you know, get back to doing what we need to do for ourselves. Everybody is looking out for themselves except for us. The time for us to keep waiting and waiting for others to do for us is over. That's what I'm saying. You know, we read the scriptures all the time. We, 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 we are children of faith. We want so bad for God to help us out. But when you really read those scriptures, you really understand those scriptures? Actually, the people prayed. Then they got up and they made a move. They didn't wait. Black people, we don't get up and make a move. We pray, we fast, we pass out. Uh, we sing, we shout, we dance, but we don't do nothing else. So again, I'm just praying that this would be a powerful, Hey, Kathy, good to see you. And what's up, Peanut? What's up? What's up, Diane? Um, it's just good. To, it's just good to see so many people. Tim, I see you in the house. It's just good to see so many people again. Um, it's a possibility I may come back and do a real talk through the scriptures. But I just wanted to say something to all y'all who've been following me, who know me in the streets as Jay, who know me on social media as my government name. <laughs> I just want to say Happy New Year, and um, I thank you all for tuning in, for reading, and I appreciate everything all the shares and all the thumbs up. If I don't get them, I just appreciate you guys just uh, taking time out your busy day and saying something to me. Again, uh, uh, again, 
uh, I may come back later on today and do something uh, through the scriptures. Um, I, I've, I've been wrestling with this thought, um, but just 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 know that I, I, I thank you guys. I thank everybody for tuning in. Um, I see you, uh, Cal. What's up, soldier? Uh, you know what? Uh, this be uh, look. See, I got my hair did. Y'all see my new do? Let me stop playing. Again, uh, again, thank everybody for tuning in. Um, I just may come back at the end of the day and do a real talk through the scriptures. Because, again, uh, my goal is to get black people off this white nipple, off this Asian nipple, off this Latino nipple, and just start to, you know, walk, stand on our own two feet, okay? And happy belated birthday, K, double K. Happy belated birthday to you, man. You know, uh, uh, but again, family, what's up, Tim? Uh, uh, we so DC. <laughs> again, I know you guys are watching the game. What's up? The birthday boy Rob just, just joined in. What's up, Terrence? What's up? We have to get off this nipple of the Asians, of the Latinos, of the uh, uh, of European nipples. And we have to start standing on our own, like never before, family. The whole, I was, wrestling with, I was wrestling with a thought the other day. I said, in all the world, the only people who are homeless is black people in America. Think about that. In the entire world, the only homeless people are the black African and American community. That's a sobering reality that everybody else got somewhere they can go to and even our african brothers who we identify with on the on the continent they still have not embraced us completely the african and american is the only group of people in the world that's homeless so we make america our home but knowing that you know what africa is our home too but which that struggle for identity that struggle to uh, connect is real it's very real. Get back. Get black people off that white nipple. <laughs> yes, yes, there, but get black people off that white nipple. It, we've been on it too long. We have been so, we've been so, how do I say this? We've been, we're like, we're like been in an incubator. We've been in a 400 year incubator where we've been protected anything you grow in a, anything you grow in an incubator like an egg to a, like a, a chick to egg it's been protected and the black community has been in a 400 year incubator where we was cut off from everybody no friends nobody to assist us and now we're free we're so free that we're dying because we don't know how to survive. Think about that. We're so free that we're dying. We don't know how to connect with people. All we do is codepend. We just we just codepend on that white nipple, that Asian nipple. I mean, think about it, family. Just think about it. We're the only group of people in America that don't own no community. That if they shut down their stores tomorrow, where would you go? A 400-year incubator. It's like a plant that's been protected on the inside. And when you put that plant outside, it cannot weather the storm. Because it was never uh, used to the seasons changing, the rain, the wind. That's black people. A 400-year incubator. And now we're not protected no more, and we're dying. That's real. We have to come off that white nipple, that Asian nipple. All these nipples, come off of them and do for ourselves. Again, I ain't going to hold y'all hostage. I just want to let you know I'm in the land of the living. There's some powerful things going on for us collectively. And, um... Hey, what's up, cuz? Look at my daddy. What's my daddy? What's up? Hey, cuz, keep doing what you do. Thank you. Jay, what's up, man? Just trying to keep it real. Keep it real. 
again, I may come back and do something. But I thank everybody for tuning in. And remember this, it's not how much you know, it's how much you care. God bless you. Stay encouraged. Uh, I don't know who's going to the Super Bowl, but if I had to make a prediction, it would probably be without watching television, but seeing all the signs. And, and remember, back, black, uh, Batman, Dark Knight, it was uh, Philly, and it was Pittsburgh, and they blew that stadium up. Let me say this. With this arrival of this Black Panther movie, and, see, and the tickets are off the chain, I'm warning you right now, black people, stay out from stadiums, stay out the movie theaters, stay out the malls. You know our white terrorist brother, he's right, he's ready. These malls, these theaters, these movie theaters, they are soft targets with maximum casualties. And everybody know that we're going to the movies to see Black Panther. So don't not think that there's no plan in place that somebody may feel, you know what? We got a lot of people in one location. They're going to see Black Panther. Take them out. We are soft targets. Remember that. Soft targets. So be careful. If you're going out to these movies, I'm going to advise you not to go, but I can't tell you because you're grown. But please be mindful that uh, th those are soft targets for us. Malls, movie stadiums. Be careful. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, <laughs> Tim, Tim, I'll tell me the real Jews. You know what? Let me say something. I had a discussion with a friend of mine recently about my belief. I'm going on record right now. I'm a, I'm a follower of Jesus' teachings. Period. I had to make my peace with his teachings. They work for me then, they working now. Okay? I don't knock what nobody else believe. That's why with me, it's not about my, what, my, what I believe. It's about our condition. I'm not going to never be thrown off talking about the Bible, the scriptures, and what you believe. I'm more so concerned about the condition of black people in America and worldwide. That's what my passion is. Whether they save, unsaved, whether they're Muslim, Baptist, it don't make a difference to me. I want for black people, like the Asians want for the Asians, that the Latinos want for the Latinos, that the Europeans want for the Europeans. That, that's what I want. So at the end of the day, for me, I don't care what you believe. Now that we've established, now that we have established what you believe, let's go to work now. Let's start building. Let's start building our neighborhoods. Let's start building our communities. You know what I mean, I don't have to be in your church, but we still need laundries. We still need grocery stores. We still need uh, uh, everything that goes into building a community, in spite of what you believe. So let's go to work. It's a lot of work to be done out there. And we're on borrowed time right now. Everybody is everybody's getting ready for something except for us. So again, I'm not going to hold you. I thank you all. Hey, Danette, how you doing? What's up, Danette? Uh, I thank everybody for tuning in. And I just may be back later on to do a real talk through the scriptures. Because I am consumed with the idea that black people now need to be unapologetic, and selfish about the survival of our people. Okay? And remember, uh, God, turning that but okay? Pharaoh, that person, okay? Yeah. So again, uh, thank you. Uh, Happy New Year's. I wish you all much success. Uh, this is gonna be a good year. If you keep, to stay positive. Mind what you say out your mouth. You can think it in your head all you want to. But when you release it out your mouth, it takes on a life of its own. If you do not speak no death to yourself, under no circumstances, do not speak no death to yourself. Let me say this again. Do not speak no death to yourself, to your family, to your body. No matter what you've been doing for years, what you've been thinking, don't speak it. You can think it all you want, just don't speak it. Because this is a year that things are coming to pass 
And when you start seeing stuff, it start happening because you don't understand that God gave us correction. Let me stop saying God. I now say creator because God it comes from a German, it's, it's German in its origin and God spelled back with his dog and I know how this European loved that dog. That's his best friend. So I'd rather say creator than God. So you hear me saying creator, I'm talking about Elohim, I'm talking about Yah, I'm talking about Yah, I'm not going to say no God. I'm convicted about that. But watch what you say out your mouth. Watch what you say out your mouth. Don't speak no death on you. Whatever you do, resist the urge to speak death on you. Speak life. Speak life. I'm telling you. And your whole situation will turn around. Okay? Again, remember this. It's not how much you know. It's how much you care. And um, I thank you guys for tuning in. I may be back later on. But I hope I said enough to at least uh, encourage you to uh, think differently. Think differently. Think differently. You're in a new place, a new year, a new mindset. You still got some old clothes. You still got some old shoes. But your mindset is different. Don't let what you don't let what don't let your present situation dictate your future outcome. Things have changed, whether you can see it or not. Okay. Thank you again for tuning in. And uh, where's that? Because you keep uplifting people. Got to. I, I, I got to uplift. At the end of the day, when I, my, let me say something. My definition of faith is this, because I'm a man of faith. And my definition of faith is this. Faith to me is an invitation to walk in the supernatural. Faith to me is an invitation to walk in the supernatural, meaning faith is always future oriented. Faith is never what's present. Faith is what you hope to see in the future. The scripture says the just shall live by faith. So faith is never future. I mean, present faith is always future. And many of us have never walked by faith. Because if we don't see it right now, it ain't relevant. But a person of faith always live in the future. They always see what could be. What could be. What should be. What is to be. And that's what separates me from a lot of people. That I look to the future. I look to the future. I look to the future. Most of us... We, we so focus on what's not. If you focus on just what's happening now, you will be miserable. You will be burdened. You will be depressed. Faith is an invitation to walk in the supernatural. And people of faith focus on the future, not the present. That's the difference. That's what that's what set people apart who make things happen from people who want things to happen. Okay? So again, I'm not going to hold you. Thank you all for tuning in. And I appreciate you watching. And uh, again, that's right, net. The evidence of things not yet seen. Don't see it, but you know it's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. You live in the future, but you occupy the now. That's faith. You live in the future, but you occupy the now. Okay? I'll be back. Thank you guys for tuning in. And remember that it is not how much you know. It's how much you care. Thank you. Have a great day.